Yeah, Chris, the scene here very much an active crime scene out here on Seymour Avenue. We got the FBI, Cleveland Police, as well as Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department. I spoke just a couple of minutes ago with Cleveland Police Chief Michael McGrath. He confirms for me that there are uh, three suspects in custody. He expects charges to be filed shortly, but he tells me, yes, one of them did come from the home where the women were rescued this, this afternoon. This all unfolded, as you know, by that dramatic 911 call earlier this evening. Uh, for that, I turned to Charles Ramsey, a neighbor on this street, walking by heard Amanda's screams. He picks up the story from there. And I hear this, help, let me out. And this girl screaming. Now, we don't have that on this street because everybody on this street knows each other. So when you hear something like that, you come running to see what's going on. I thought it was a kid got attacked by a pit bull. And I look at that girl. I said, well, you look familiar. And I'm prying the door open, and she's trying to get out, and she climbed through the, the bottom of it. And when she saw as she got out, she says, my name is Amanda Berry. Call the police. Now, did you know who that was when, you, when she said that? When she told me, it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And, and she got on the phone, and she said, yes, this is me. When did you see Gina? About five minutes after the police got here. See, that girl Amanda told the police, I ain't just the only ones. It's some more girls up in that house. So they went up there, you know, 30, 40 deep, and when they came out, was just astonishing. What was, what was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be Bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. So many people across Cleveland touched so many times over the course of the past couple of years by this story as it is unfolded. But it was the story of Amanda and Gina that really grew close. Their families growing close over that nearly decade period, sharing each other's April anniversary vigils together, always there for each other, hoping beyond hope that a day like this would come tonight against unimaginable odds. Those prayers answered here on Seymour Avenue. Reporting live on Cleveland's west side, John Kasich, News Channel 5.